Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to be editing this image of my husband tossing my toddler son into the air. Uh, there was no neck injury, no shaken baby, the baby did not fall. This is something that my husband liked to do with all three of our children, and they just adore it. If you look at his face, that is not a baby in distress. He is loving every single minute of it. Anyway, so this was taken on a winter day, um, pretty overcasty, but we still have a little bit of the fall leaves on the tree, and I'm just in love with this image. So I'm going to work on this for you today. So this is the before and the after, before and after. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do here is run the image base. Um, I do this on all of my images. Are you guys sick of hearing me say that yet? I'm going to click on the darken edges and make sure that the light is on our subjects and not the dark edges. And I'm going to make sure to mask it off of them just in case any happen to fall on top. Okay, next I'm going to turn the brighten off, the brighten up off here. I want the background to stay dark and um, that's how I like it for this image. So, here is the before and after the image base. Next, I'm going to run the charcoal gray um, action to deepen the gray tones that are already there, but I want to add a little bit more to make it more dramatic. We're going to take a soft white brush on 100% opacity and paint it on. It's going to be really strong at first. I'm going to mask some of it off of the center here. We have those really pretty um, golden leaves back there that I'd like to keep, but this will just help enhance the color anyway. If you're doing this for a client, get in good and make sure it doesn't spill over onto your subjects. I'm going to turn that down to about 50%. Soft black brush. And brush some of that off there. And tone this down quite a bit. That looks good to me. I'm going to go into here, maybe tone this gray down a little bit more. Okay, that looks great. So before and after. Before and after. Now I want the center to brighten up just a little bit more along with their skin tones. So I am going to go into Brighten Skin and Eyes, play that action into here, brighten skin, take a large soft white brush on 100% opacity, and I'm going to click it right in the center there. Zoom in a little get more on my little guy there, and maybe tone down dad a little bit here, a little bit too bright for my liking. Maybe overall I'll just crank it down a little bit, and that looks good to me and after. Now he's taken on magenta, which seems to happen quite a bit in my images. I'm not sure why that is, but it's really simple to correct in the post um, process here. Go into skin color correction and we are going to reduce magenta, soft white brush, 100% opacity, and just rub it on his skin. You'll notice he's turning green, but we will tone that down. Oops. There we go. What a difference. And this was a really, really easy edit, guys. Um, let me collapse that and group it for you. So this is after and before after and before. Thanks so much guys. You can download these actions at storyvillephotography.com. Have a great day. Bye.